we will not accept elder abuse. I cannot understand how a person could possibly believe it's appropriate to abuse a senior. Since it was created in 2013, the Elder Abuse Helpline has received more than 4,500 calls. It receives over 100 calls a month. It's a bit strange to say we're celebrating that many calls, but the reality is we celebrate the fact that 4,500 seniors who have experienced some form of elder abuse now have the opportunity to not only seek advice, but to also obtain the necessary assistance to stop that abuse from continuing. Elder abuse is defined as an act or lack of action occurring within a relationship where there is an expectation of trust, which causes harm or distress to an older person. There are many signs of elder abuse, but there are some subtle signs that often people miss. It's important if you have a friend or somebody you know who used to come to church or they used to come to the bowling club um, or one of your activities and all of a sudden they're not turning up. It's a very regular occurrence that somebody who has the wrong intentions isolates that person. The other sign to look for is when an older person starts to look a bit depressed, sad, withdrawn, possibly even anxious. Um, it's important to talk to them and find out what's happening for them. Many people are shocked when they learn that family members, in particular sons and daughters, are abusing their parents. When you call the Elder Abuse Helpline, you'll be speaking with an experienced consultant. They'll be listening to the story of the older person and what's happening for them. They'll ask you, what does the older person want to do about their situation? And from there, they'll work with you, they'll support you, provide information, education and referrals on where to from here for that older person. There are five different types of elder abuse. Financial abuse, psychological abuse, physical abuse, neglect and sexual abuse. Often we, want it, we have the best of intentions for the older person, but what we start to do is take over in our caring role and we forget to continue to ask them what is it that they actually want. Elder abuse can have serious consequences to health and wellbeing. It's everyone's business to stop it. What we should always remember is this. If you're aware of a situation of elder abuse, if you're aware that a friend or family member is experiencing abuse, please immediately contact the Elder Abuse Helpline so that appropriate advice and action can take place. Call the Elder Abuse Helpline on 1800 628 221.